spent the lion's share of my professional career working for St. Louis County Library. And I held various positions during that 15 years. And one position that I held was that of a library assistant. And so I was at the front desk helping our patrons and our community connect to our programs and our various resources. And I remember one day, one of our patrons kind of beckoned me to the side after I checked her books out to her. And she leaned in and she said, Sharice, would you like to join me after work for appetizers and some conversation up at the TGI's up the street? And the the request kind of shocked me, you know, and, and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> had to, you know, gather myself there. And essentially I told her in a very tender but clear, concise way that I would not be able to do that. Now, this was a patron who was maybe 30 plus years. Um, she was chronologically gifted, as I like to say. And uh, I, I had to tell her no. And I, I told her no because of limitations and boundaries. And so some, some of you might say, oh, it's probably just an older lady wanting some conversation and, and all of this. And I had great rapport with the patrons and, and, and I loved that. You know, you come to know the people that walk in each day and you have banter and conversation about your family, their family, do, do, do. You know, you, you just share some things. And so it was a wonderful um, staff and a wonderful group of, of patrons that we served. But I said no because of limitations and boundaries because with your customers as a career professional, and this is applicable to your direct coworkers and to your colleagues, you have to be mindful of connection and relationship and have limitations and boundaries. Now, was that a, a elderly, chronologically gifted woman just wanting um, some company and some conversation after work? Probably so, was there a lot of harm in that? Probably not. But I did not think that was in her best interest or in mine or that of my staff to cross that line. Okay. And so we have to keep this is a very delicate and tender topic that I don't hear a lot of career coaches, customer service coaches um, talk about. And but it's it's here. <laughs> It's, it's something we need to talk about more. I've talked about it several times on various platforms, but it's important because we have to have limitations and boundaries, all right? And, and it's important that we do that. Now, in my career, various places I've worked, have I made friends with some of my coworkers, some of my colleagues? I'm trying to think customers... Because I did retail for a while as well. I don't think I've ever really made friends with customers that I can recall right now off the top of my head. That's not, it's not a thing that I do. <laughs> it's not a thing that I feel is, is really healthy to do. But as a career professional, I want you to let this marinate on your mind for a time. There has to be some limitations and some boundaries that you set and it's and and we also have to understand this distinction there is a difference between being friendly with and friendly towards which we need more of in the world and in the workplace we need more of being friendly with and friendly towards each other you know displaying kindness compassion consideration patience all of those great things we need to extend to each other more and more and I think the world let alone the workplace would be a better place um, for everyone but at the same time keeping limitations and boundaries and understanding that that makes things better it makes things better for everyone involved <laughs> okay to set those yes people have a desire for belonging and connection and you can with the right dynamic 
you can make friends with people, of course, but we have to be careful about what we're doing, when we're doing it, with whom. You know, we've got to keep all of that in mind and make sure that we're, we're creating um, not only friendly spaces, but safe spaces for everybody in the workplace. Okay. All right. Let that marinate again on the mind for a time until we meet again. Kind soul. Remember this. The best is yet to come. Take great care. Bye-bye.